Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to recap my second of four NBA playoff games here throughout the day and night. Um, second game we're talking about is game one here in the Western Conference between the Los Angeles Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers beat the Dallas Mavericks 109-97 reaction. Uh, no Kawhi, no problem for the Clippers. Uh, it was announced today that Kawhi Lear wouldn't play game one. But it was good game one for the Clippers. Uh, they, this was really a tale of two halves. I mean, it really was a tale of two quarters of really how the Dallas Mavericks uh, lost this basketball game, I thought. Uh, they got scored 34-22 in the first quarter and then 22-8 in the second quarter. The Mavericks only scored eight points. Eight points in the second quarter. That's where they really lost this basketball game, I thought, was the first half. Because the second half, they outscored them 34-31 and then 33-22 in the third and fourth quarters. But it, doesn't, but it really didn't matter from where they were down. Like 56, I think, to 30 at halftime. It was just a poor, poor game one here from the Dallas Mavericks outside of Luka. Really poor. And really, they're scoring here in game one. And the loss to the Clippers, Luka Doncic had 33, Kyrie 31, the rest of the roster had 33 points. It was really Luka and Kyrie did all the work and the rest of the roster just didn't show up. You tank, you just can't co overcome an 8 point quarter. You have an 8 point quarter in the NBA playoffs, you can't overcome that. You trade for a center and trade a first for one and somehow, and somehow Maxi Clay but play more than both. It was just a trash game having such a long break, maybe. I mean, I feel like both teams had the same amount of time off. I mean, they just didn't have it today, and there will probably be some game adjustments in game two. You can't have two guys making 64 while the rest of the team looks like cones out there. But I feel like they'll have a better game in game two. Exum looked absolutely lost out there. Derrick Show Jr. up playing off the floor. Ga Gafford was outplayed by Zubok. PJ was subpar. Macy Kleba, terrible. Green hardly played. I think he's there more minutes at least when nothing was working. But most of their points came down when they were down 30. So kind of really empty stats if you think about it. But without Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard, just impressive. They were up 56-30 at half. And James Harden had 20 points, 4 assists at the half, 6 of 10. Westbrook, 13, 3 and 2. With t 10 points, 3 rounds with 2 steals, 4 of 6. Zubonk had a double-double at half, 6 of 9. And PJ... Ugh. Can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Paul George wasn't even looking for a shot, to be honest. But it was James Harden, Zubonk, and Westbrook really in the first half um, helping this team. And on the Mavs' slow start, they did dig themselves kind of out of hole. But the positives, they kept fighting in the second half. They expected the Clippers to come out and physical. They didn't they come out and be physical. They just didn't respond well enough. And the Clippers, they shot well. I mean, 46.0% from the field, 40 of 87, but from three, 18 of 36, was, which is a 50.0% rate. Like, they were just automatic from three in this game. Shot 50%. Um, it was just the slow start for the Mavericks. They shot 38% overall in the game, 30% from three. Uh, Paul George, 22 points, three assists, six rebounds, uh, eight of 20. And he's four-time all defense for a reason. He played great defensively. I mean, Paul George didn't shoot well, and you know he knows he got, has to be better. But he played great defensively, I thought. Amir Coffey, 6 points, 3 rebounds, 2 for 7. Zubak, 20 points, 15 rebounds. He really dominated Gafford here in game 1. Harden, 20 points, 8 assists, 8 of 17. Great game 1 from James Harden, who normally doesn't show up in the playoffs, really showed up here in game 1. Uh, Terrence Mann, 13 points, 9 rebounds, 4 for 8. 100% from three. Made all of his threes. If he can stay aggressive and keep shooting the way he has and not passing up open threes, he's going to have a great series. Defensively, he's solid. Uh, 
Norman Powell, five points. He only had five points in shot, two for six, but yet they still won by this much. Mason Plumley, two points, five rebounds, one for four. Westbrook, 13 points, four assists, four rebounds, five for eight. Great game from uh, Russell Westbrook. The four turnovers weren't good, but he, he shot the ball well and played really solid defense. Really good game, but he has to cut down the turnovers. So we went over the team stats, we went over the Clippers stats, and really my thoughts on the game. It was a blowout, really. Especially after that second quarter, an eight point quarter is what cost the Mavs. Luka, 33.6 assists, 13 rebounds, 11 26. Really scored most of his points in garbage time. The final score doesn't tell the whole story. Dallas trailed by as many as 29 this one. The Clippers might win us in like five or six. Has to stay aggressive. Like in the first half, they weren't aggressive enough. They were more physical on defense in the second half, but they just come out flat. That was really the difference. Kyrie had 31, 4, and 7, and 10 of 18. Rest of the roster didn't just didn't show up. Exum three points. Uh, Hardaway Tim Hardaway Jr. six points, three rebounds. Kleba three points. Gafford three points. No rebounds, no assists. One for four. He just didn't come to play, did Gafford. He's, he's got to be better. Uh, PJ Wash 11.7 rebounds, 4 for 10. Didn't shoot well. But yeah, just another roster outs, outside of Luke and Kyrie played that great. Even Luke has to be better. But yeah, it's really my honest thoughts on this game. So until next time, I call it. Peace. And I'll be back for Pacers Bucks.